So I describe the brand as a unique dining experience, one that um, favors the, the casual dine family environment. East Coast Wings and Grill is not gonna be your cheapest menu on the block, but it's gonna be the best quality of menu on the block in the marketplace. Uh, our wings are fresh. Our, our meats and hamburgers are fresh. We manufacture our dressings to scratch. A lot of our dipping sauces are scratch. But we do as much as we can do to innovate the quality for our consumer base. One thing that is very unique about the East Coast Wings and Grill brand is that it is very family driven between the service center, the shareholdership, the corporate structure, the executive structure, however you want to define us with the franchisee base. I wanted to start the brand as a franchise model to scale the brand up, but I want it to scale in a very disciplined, laser-like focus. The reality is that we learned very early on a brand success or a brand's accountability behaviors culture that turns into a brand's DNA is the franchisee base, right? So we are known to be franchisee eccentric. We're known to be driven by unit level economics. And our franchisees have executed the disciplines of the brand in a fashion that makes us look really good as a brand. We truly, truly work hard into helping them drive their business. It is the, the DNA of a good brand when the franchisees are able to succeed and meet their goals. But it starts with the philosophies of the brand. So it's beyond just the numbers, it is the culture. We use ULE, or Unit Love Economics, in our brand. It is a little bit outside the traditional franchising box, but it is a model that has worked. It's a model that, as you investigate franchise ideas, specifically in the food space, our franchisees can validate. If you're in the marketplace trying to figure out or having a desire to make a change in your lifestyle, I think the East Coast Wings and Grill experience is something you should investigate.